Happy Monday, friends. This is Deborah, and I want to thank you all for joining me today as I have a small decor haul, and we're going to take a look at my new curtains, my patio vignette, as well as an important announcement. So let's get started. And as you can see here, I have almost reached the 5,000 subscribers milestone here on my channel, Cottage to Courtyard, and I couldn't be more thrilled. I have all of you, my wonderful subscribers, to thank for that, as well as the blessing from God that it has been for me. So thank you all, my friends. I will be having a drawing and giveaway as soon as I achieve the 5,000 subscribers milestone, so please stay tuned for that. We're almost there. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at a small decor haul that I have and some other things. First up is this beautiful pair of French faux boiserie panels that I purchased about four years ago at Kirkland's. I've never shared them here on YouTube, and I don't know why, but I thought it was about time I did. They're so beautiful and are quite large. They were $89 each at the time I purchased them, and I thought they were a great price because of the visual impact that they offer, and they are definitely statement pieces. I'll be mounting them soon in my living room here at the condo and I will share that in a video soon. When I purchased these panels, they were painted in this robin's egg blue distress finish and I've always loved them as they are. However, they don't look great on these gray walls here in the condo, but I'm going to be changing that wall color very soon in October to a more neutral and lighter color. Then they will look fabulous hanging on my wall. I may even add a bit of gold gilding wax to all the gorgeous raised details on the panels for a richer look. Okay, my friends, I just had to share this large antique dough bowl that is on loan to me from my sweet brother, Mark. I'll be using it in my upcoming fall decorating and I can hardly wait. He purchased this beauty a couple of years ago at the Antique Gallery here in Houston. It's very old and handmade. It had cracked at some point over the years and the original owner made hand forged mending plates to attach them to each end, as you will see in a moment. I can hardly wait to show you what I'll be doing with this. And this is where I will be placing the dough bowl center stage here on my French country buffet. I just love the warmth of the wood with the duck egg blue color of the buffet. And it is huge as you can see in scale to comparison with the buffet. Now I know you're all probably wondering why in the world am I showing that ceramic hen again that I showed you in a recent haul as well as in my fireplace mantle decorating video last week. Well, there is a really good reason. When I saw this matching rooster on Facebook Marketplace for just $20, I knew I had to have them to go with the hen. They are both made by the same company, so I'm sure they were offered as a set at one time. The seller told me she purchased him years ago at Dillard's. I was so thrilled to find and purchase this rooster, and I'll show you how he looks with her in just a moment. And here they are. Aren't they beautiful together? I can't wait to decorate with these for fall. And now I want to show you all the red on cream twall curtain panels that I purchased on Amazon. I first saw them on my sweet friend Jessica's YouTube channel, French Farmhouse Flare, where she shared them and how they look so beautiful in her dining room. So if you have a chance, please go over to her channel and take a look. You won't be disappointed. And please do let Jessica know that Deborah from Cottage to Courtyard sent you. You'll love it. And before I forget, I wanted to also say that these curtain panels are 50 inches wide by 84 inches long. And since they're just a bit short from my windows, 
I'll be adding a custom six inch ruffle at the bottom, which I will be making out of canvas drop cloths from Home Depot. They're going to be so charming, I can hardly wait to use them for the Christmas season. Let's go in and take a closer look at the gorgeous curtain fabric. You know guys, I have had a lifelong love affair with French toile de jouy fabrics, mostly because they tell a silent story and I just love the romantic pastoral scenes with the animals, the children, the young lovers, and life depicted in gentler times gone by. And just look at how gorgeous these toile curtains look with the beautiful rooster and hen. It just doesn't get much more French country than that, you know? And now to show you the last few things that I purchased at Hobby Lobby the other day. They're just little things, but they're fun nonetheless. The cute pumpkin and sunflower napkins were $5.99 for 50 of them, and they were 40% off, which made them a great deal. The pumpkin spice lattes please sign was $3.99 and also 40% off. Both these things will be going in the coffee area of my kitchen. And lastly, I had to purchase these three acorn picks. They look so realistic and I just love them and, and what they add to a floral design. They were $3.99 each and also 40% off. In my last video, I showed a glimpse of this vignette that's in the corner of my patio, and some of you had questions about that large metal arch. I purchased it at an antique store about three years ago, but I have seen them in the past on antiquefarmhouse.com, so you might do a search on their website to see if they still have them, or perhaps try Google. It's a wonderful piece to have, and I really enjoyed it in my garden. So here you're looking at my antique French wire planter, all bare except for the cocoa liner that's in it, and there's a reason for that. In my garden, I have a three strikes rule. If a plant or plants don't perform well and thrive, after three tries, they're out and they're replaced. Well, this is really a tough area to grow things because as you can see, the left side of the planter gets hot glaring sun most of the day, while the right side gets basically none. So I'd had enough and just decided the other day to pull it all out and replace it. Yes, wait for it, with faux greenery and flowers. So that's what you're seeing here in the planter. And you know what, guys, it's so funny because never in a million years would have I ever used faux plants in my garden and patio area. But after I put all that greenery and the flowers in there, I just loved it. It, it was all stuff that I had had in my stash, so I didn't have to go out and buy anything. It was a definite win-win. It will stay like this until I decorate it for fall and then for Christmas. The large metal bee plaque was purchased at Tractor Supply Company about a year and a half ago, and the galvanized watering can hanging there at the bottom of the planter was purchased at a boutique about two years ago. And as you can see, this cozy little corner is a perfect spot for me to come outside in the mornings and enjoy my cup of coffee. Alright my sweet friends, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it and please do stay tuned for my upcoming announcement of when I reach the 5,000 subscribers milestone here on YouTube for the giveaway and drawing details. Until next time, you all take care. Bye bye.